All right, this is a tutorial by request for using channel strip settings. Uh, create an audio track. Input one's fine. Mono. Uh, we'll change the input in a minute. Open up the mixer. Create a new auxiliary track. Mono format. Change input to input one. Output bus one. You can, it's going automatically by default, it's going to create another auxiliary track for an input of bus 1. Delete that. And now for your mono audio track, change the input to bus 1. So now the audio signal is going to pass through the auxiliary track before it goes to the audio mono track, which is going to be recorded on. So any effects that you apply to the auxiliary track is going to pass through to the audio track with the recorded effects. Um, this is great for using EQ and compression, that way your vocal is recorded compressed or EQ'd, you don't have to add any compression or EQ plugins on your vocal track. So let's just add quick EQ, we'll get rid of all the low end that we don't need. Do a little Okay, just a simple E2 EQ. We'll add a compressor. We'll kind of limit the vocals a little bit. So now you can see these effects are going to be recorded when we hit record on our audio track. So now whenever you sing or rap into this, it's going to have the EQ and compressing already on it. That way you don't need to do the same settings for this vocal track. Uh, this is typical use for studio recording, using the channel, stri the channel strips to the full potential. So now if you look at the audio wave, there is some compression there. So now whenever you sing or rap into this, it's going to have the... So you can definitely hear the EQ. Uh, just to show you, to make this a little more noticeable, we'll go into the settings. And let's create some kind of vocal effect. So now we're going to do the same thing, only it's got a lot more compression, EQ, and it's got a noise gate and some reverb. So now when we talk into this, this audio file is going to have the reverb already on there. So I'll show you now. So now when we talk into this, this audio file is going to have the reverb already on there. And just to show you that that's what you're hearing, I'll delete this completely. Now now when we talk into this, this audio file is going to have the reverb already on there. There you have it. That way it will save your computer some CPU so you don't have to have those effects. It's already recorded right to your audio file. Just a quick tutorial using the channel strips. I uh, hope this is helpful. Stay tuned for some more videos and if there's anything you need, let me know and I'll get to it as soon as I can.